welcome to that time of the month. So this month is quite a lot of products, I'm going to go straight into it. The very first thing is finally an eye makeup remover and this is by Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Do It Makeup Remover. So I have actually never tried Napoleon um, skincare stuff so I was quite intrigued by the, um, the makeup remover because I'm constantly trying new eye makeup removers all the time and I'm quite impressed with this. This is also a by face so it's half water, half oil. Um, it does come like a bluish color. Definitely removes waterproof mascara, eyeliner. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I love how big the bottle is. It actually lasts quite a long time. Although it's an Australian brand, it's actually made in the US. Only thing I think I'm not so fond of is the actual bottle because it's a really tiny cap which I find that sometimes I will lose because it's so tiny and it can be a little bit annoying to twist and up like twist open and close okay the next thing is a blemish control apricot scrub it helps prevent blackheads and minimize pores and this is in a, um, a travel size one it is supposed to be a hundred percent natural ingredients it has salicylic acid because it is an acne scrub for me I think this is quite abrasive it is like pretty harsh little beads that actually does feel quite aggressive on the skin. If you have really sensitive to normal skin, I probably would avoid this because it is quite aggressive. Like I only use this around my nose where I know that I have more, I guess, oil in that area. Other than that, like on my face, I don't think I would recommend this at all. But it is a good scrub if you definitely have very like a lot of blackheads this is the dreams come true bounce cheese cream now you guys probably have seen this in one of my mimi box uh reviews this is the one with a really cool funky texture that actually looks like cheese i do have to say that it does leave a little bit of like a sticky residue so it's not something that you feel smooth over the skin it does leave a little bit like a waxier sticky residue so i recommend this people who have normal to dry skin oily skin avoid it like a plague because this might break you out. This is the Woman's Rexona Long Lasting Protection Cotton Fresh Dry. I also got this in a travel size because I wanted to try it. I'm not a big fan of deodorant, nor I'm a big fan of deodorant sprays. This is kind of like my emergency thing. It's not something that I would always carry in my bag. It was just like in the middle of summer that I was really worried. Um, next thing, this is the Sexy Shape Slender Legs Gel. This is by Catwalk Girl. Um, I was actually given this as a gift from my model friend, obviously, who used to be part of Catwalk, which is like this modeling company. What it does, it actually helps to break down the fat deposits in your thighs. So it has little micro beads in there, which actually dissolves as you apply this onto your legs. And it's supposed to sort of basically soften the fat. Through exercise and diet, you can actually slim your legs a lot easier or quicker. I know this it didn't see a huge difference because my legs still the same I do like the the, t the, the feel of the actual gel because it's like a gel texture which means it absorbs in the skin super quick it leaves sort of like a minty feel to, towards the end which I like to in summer but in terms of results you're not gonna see drastic changes you're not gonna be like oh my god is you know shrunk two sizes but it's definitely something worth trying especially if you are into like the diet fitness and you are focusing on trying to slim down your legs then maybe this is something you can apply before or after your workouts which might boost the results this is the Japanese create beauty makeup brush cleanser and this is in the massive 16 ounce um, bottle which I actually got on Amazon I really um, wanted to get a makeup brush cleaner that could spot clean this is good for like just eye brushes and small brushes in general I have to say I actually quite like this orangey zesty smell to it it's different to the makeup brush spot cleaners I've used in the past. It does actually leave a more of an oilier residue as opposed to alcohol. So I think it is definitely more moisturizing and I guess safer for your brushes because it does leave your brushes feel a bit more moisturized as opposed to higher concentration of alcohol because alcohol obviously dries super quick but it can damage the hair bristles on your brushes. I really recommend this if you're looking for a good spot cleaner. Um, the reason why I got this is because I could refill this into like a spray bottle so this is quite economical for me. Definitely something worth repurchasing but I am trying out other ones as well like definitely more affordable ones. Now this month I also finished up a Chanel number no. five velvet body cream. To be honest with you, number no. five Eau de Parfum is not my favorite scent. It has a quite a heavy, um, rich, almost like an old person smell. A lot of people might have that sort of concept with number no. five, obviously being the number one best selling fragrance in the world for the past God knows how long. However, I do like the Eau Premier and the Eau de Toilette. So luckily their body products kind of takes over the Eau de Toilette 
mostly all the Eau Premier scent, which is kind of more like a fresh scent. So I quite like and enjoy the body cream. On top of that, the texture of the body creams are a lot better because it's so moisturizing, but it doesn't leave you oily or tacky or sticky. It's just moisturizing. Like that's what I love about the body creams. I know they're really pricey, but I think it's definitely something that's worth the money. I also finished up the Sheshvit um, Dry Fast Top Coat. And I remember when I first featured this a while ago, someone told me that this like gave you cancer or something I have no idea I think anything in this world will give you cancer like to be honest nothing just everything at moderate amounts anything too extreme is bad for you I like how super fast drying it is I like how it gives my nails that really shiny look and it also makes them look almost gel like which I which is what I like about this one my only concern is that it actually does thicken quite a quite a bit after a while so if you don't use this quickly it does dry up really quickly I finally finished up the the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil and this is obviously in the travel size. I have to say Josie Moran compared to the Caudalie, I much prefer the Caudalie texture. This is a little bit thicker for me, for my liking. I don't like to use this on my face, I only like this to use in my hair and even for my hair it's quite thick and oily. One thing I don't like is about the stopper because after a while it starts to deteriorate and now it's like I can't even, I can't even go there, like I have to use a tissue to wipe the stopper. So I don't think I would actually finish the rest of that because it's getting really, really messy. S-H-E, Shining Health Eyes Eye Drops. So I actually got this um, when I ordered a bunch of contact on, uh, contacts online because I wear two type of contacts. So you guys will be always ask me. The first one is, well actually three now. Um, I use Fresh Look, I use Johnson Johnson and another one I've been using currently recently a lot is my Hello Kitty one. When I ordered the Fresh Look online they actually gave me complimentary these eye drops for your eyes when you do wear contacts. Um, I like to keep this in my makeup bag just so I can refreshen up my eyes if I if it does get dry. Um, so with these contact lens solutions you do have to throw them out every like I think two or three months maybe or maybe up to six months depending on what brand you get. This is a Napoleon um, camera finish powder foundation in look four. Now this one I have had in my makeup kit for like the longest time ever. I don't even remember how long I've had this for. That's the reason why I'm like maybe it's time to go because it's probably been there for like a hundred years. This is the old packaging because the new packaging now is the gold finish where this is the black one is just forever. I like um, look for because it's the closest to it's a yellow undertone so it's great for Asian skin. The point of the camera finish powder itself is that it doesn't re doesn't flash back on camera so if you are in like photography or if you're doing filming or if you're taking a lot of photos with flash this is obviously a powder that you should be doing because it doesn't flash back and it keeps your face the same color as say what your foundation is I have done like a camera test with the powder like having the powder and then having something with an SPF in it and it does make a difference however because this is so old I have to throw this one out speaking on powders I also finally finished Jane Arundale the mineral foundation in warm sienna so I probably use this to death when I got it so it's only got a little bit left around the corner which is getting a little bit difficult to, to get so I got a whole new one already this is like my go-to powder it's my favorite powder to use when I'm breaking out it's because it's you know mineral powder I feel like it does leave my skin you know still able to breathe it doesn't it doesn't cause any new breakouts I like this color it matched me perfectly I sometimes wear this alone with just a bit of concealer if you guys are looking for an acne friendly powder and you want to invest in something good definitely check this one out this is the Lancome art liner and I have been using this forever like you probably have seen this in my previous videos from like almost a year ago so this is how long this this eyeliner has lasted me so I'm so impressed because it is quite a pricey product but because I've had it for so long and I use eyeliner like pretty much every time I use makeup and I still manage to stretch this out to like a whole year so I'm very 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 impressed with how much product you get in this one little eyeliner pot. Although Peggy goes through this like crazy, I don't know how she does it, but for me it has lasted so long and I'm so impressed because out of all the eyeliners I've used in the past, nothing has lasted this long. Fully, fully recommend this. I also finished up the Hero Make Long and Curl Mascara in Super Waterproof, so it's actually more waterproof than the waterproof version, which I Honestly, when I used it, I can't tell the biggest difference. Although I do have to say that this one did feel like it dried up a lot quicker than the original one. I've tried to remove this without the makeup, without the mascara remover. 
and it, it takes forever. So I specifically have to must, must, must use the mascara remover, wait a minute and then wipe away with the eye makeup remover. The brush wand is exactly the same as the original and the only difference is the formula. It's definitely a lot more dry and I feel, I feel like it finishes up a lot quicker than the other one as well. I like this for just a one coat to two coats of it and then using a different mascara on top. Chanel Eclect Lumiere, which is also a highlighting face pen. This one's in the color number 30, which is sort of like a beigey rose color, similar to the Tom Ford one that I used last month, but this one obviously finished a lot quicker. Um, it also has the same brush head, which is the same as like the Touche Eclect from YSL. I chose this one just to highlight underneath. The coverage is like very light to medium. It doesn't have the same amount of coverage as the Tom Ford one, so I do have to layer another concealer on top. This one is just great for just general highlighting. It's nothing for like a blemish covering or anything else like that. So it's just purely for highlighting only. I also finished up a Eve skincare bar this month, but because it's a, it's like a soap type of bar that once you finish up, it disappears. So I'm just gonna show you what it actually looked like before it finishes which is it's packaged like this it comes in a box like this and um, I am obsessed with this product I recommend this to anyone you've probably already seen this in my previous video how to use it and why I love it so much because it has improved the quality of my skin drastically and it definitely is something that I will incorporate it into my skincare routine from now on and it's so travel friendly and definitely very portable and I think something that anyone and everyone could use I seriously am so impressed by the results and I'm so happy with what I'm seeing with my skin at the moment so I definitely recommend this and I think anyone should I think you guys should just try it anyways now we on to favorites um, the Eve skincare bar is also one of my favorites this month because it is something that has made a huge difference to my skin in the past couple of months you can get this in both like a starter kit or you can buy the bars individually that comes in a packet like this so this is my second bar and definitely you guys will know what I'm talking about once you try it, be like, oh my god. Another favorite of this month is, this is the Tom Ford um, Quad in Seductive Rose. And I have been trying to track this down for a long time. Although we don't, we sell Tom Ford in Brisbane, but not the makeup line. So I had to actually get this in Sydney when I went down there. This is my, probably one of my favorite quads from Tom Ford they do them so well and this color this quad combination is so beautiful because I like purple so this is like a purple scheme I like how they have two glittery shadows in one palette um, and I like the dark purple because it's it's purple but not too deep this is what I've been wearing for the past couple of videos and you guys have commented and wanted to have a look have wanted me to do a look on it so I will try to incorporate this into a new look um, very soon for you guys maybe a prom look what do you guys think yeah if you do like this video and let me know below Another thing I discovered when I was in Sydney is these Uniqlo footsies and the cool, about the, cool thing about these socks is that they actually have um, padding on the balls of the feet and also yeah, padding on the balls of the feet which means if you wear a lot of flats like I do um, sometimes when you be setting, setting up for so long that it does get really tight. It comes in a packet like this um, you get three pairs inside. Maybe they should do them in other colors like nude and other colors. This is my new iPhone case. If you guys have seen my Japan haul, I purchased a, um, a Hello Kitty iPhone case and sadly I dropped my phone and that case kind of cracked because it was um, a hard plastic as opposed to a soft plastic. This one is kind of like a soft case so I feel like this is definitely more safer to use. But the cool thing about this one is it has this little bow at the back which you can flip up and bend and that way you can sit on the table like this like sit on the table on the side like this and I think it's super cute because it's like a little bow and it's like 3d so you can pick this in different colors obviously I chose purple but there's other colors in the range as well I got this uh, on eBay I will try to link it down below for you another one of my favorites this month is I got this shorts from Nike Nike how do you guys want to pronounce it basically I've been running a lot recently and I feel like these shorts are super comfortable for running it feels like you're not wearing anything at all and the coolest thing is I got this on sale so this is super cheap but it has like this um, like an inside lining that's almost like a like another underwear so it supports your underwear and it also has like a little inside like pocket on the outer on the back which you can hide your keys or like I don't know and it's waterproof so and it's like quick dry all of the above definitely recommend this if you can find this in your local store and the very last thing is probably see my Instagram photo this is the Rebecca Minkoff um, it's like a clutch 
slash makeup bag. It says lips and lashes on top and it has like this really cool um, gold thing that has lashes and lipstick and I and brushes and I actually keep my makeup in here. It's a bunch of makeup in there that I use on a day to day basis. On days where I don't want to bring a lot of stuff but I definitely need my makeup to touch up so all I do is I just throw my phone into the clutch and maybe some like and like some a little pouch full of like my cards or my money pop it in there and I'm off to go so this is pretty much being like my clutch slash makeup bag which is really convenient um, but I, I like how big it is and how convenient it is it does slide in my bag quite well for work my favorite song this month that I have to mention is from the movie Fast and Furious 7 and it's actually a tribute to Paul Walker and it's called See You Again. Love that song, it's on repeat at the moment and it's like a tribute, it's so beautifully. It's I don't know if you guys have seen the movie but if you have, oh my god, like the last scene is just breathtaking. Everything about the song is just moving. So I've been really loving the song, I know you guys probably have too but I'll also link that song below for you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As usual, if you have any questions about any of these products, leave your comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, you can also message me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!